create a new user in Fusion applications. So in this video, I'm going to first show you how you create a new user. But first, we'll explore the existing user in Fusion applications, which is FA admin user and explore its associated roles in Oracle Identity Management or IDM. All right. Let's first sign in as FA admin in Fusion applications. All right. Use the user ID FA admin. Okay. And whatever password you have given. And as I've explained to you, this is like a sysadmin or a super user that comes with your default installation. And there is no data as such in the vanilla instance. The data is something which is you are responsible for creating it and feeding it into the Fusion Applications database. So here, what I'm going to do is explore this menu. As you could see from here itself, you can see that it has got roles such as it can administer customer workspace pages, customer global page template, manage customization, sandboxes, set up and maintenance, highlight flex fields and so on. It has also got a number of other roles associated with this, but the most important is the set up and maintenance task. It can set up the entire Fusion application server. It has got all the roles for all the product offerings that have been provisioned at the time of installation. All right. So we'll create a user which is similar to FA admin and Basically, I don't want to use FA admin for my implementation tasks. So I'm going to use users, which I will actually use for Fusion applications, setups and implementation. So this is a demo, but in real environment, you have to create multiple users based on the name of implementers that you're engaging in the project. All right. So first we'll do is we'll go to Oracle Identity Management and explore the roles associated with this particular user. So for going into identity management, you've got to type in this particular URL. It could be different in your particular implementation. And then here you can simply click on my roles because we have already signed up as FA admin. You can quickly explore it from here. So it's going to list all the roles which uh, have been assigned to this particular user basically some of the roles are like a hierarchy of roles okay one role within another role and so on so there is another place wherein you can explore those roles so if you go back to the welcome page and here you will have a place to look for users if you go on to administration and then if you search for a user say advanced search and then you give your user login which is fa admin okay and then hit the search button and it retrieves the user from the database click on that and then you go on to the roles and this is where you will find all the super roles assigned to this particular user if you want to drill down on each particular role for example if it's like application implementation consultant if you click on this it's going to show you all the product offerings associated with this roles and roles associated with each of those product offerings for example we have provisioned hcm crm scm uh, financials projects and so on so all those roles are something you can view it quickly over here Okay, so what I have done is I have just copied all these roles in an Excel file over here. And then we'll create a new user by the name of say, by my name, Kabir Khan, who will be the functional implementer for, let's say, an organization called as Mango Corporation. And then we'll come to IDM to assign all these roles, just as it has been assigned to FA admin, basically, we'll have a new user and we'll leave the default sysadmin user as it is without any customizations at all. All right. So what I will do now is first I'm going to log out from FA admin user. 
so log out from here as well as here so I'm gonna close this and go back again to OIM system administrator basically OIM stands for Oracle identity management and here you've got a user called as XEL sysadmin okay XEL SYS ADM and then password is something you have set up at the time of installation okay now this is nothing but Oracle identity management system administrator all right now once you give the user password hit the login button and it's gonna take you to exactly the same page that we were looking at using FA admin user the reason why we are having a similar look in FA admin because FA admin has been assigned a role of identity management super user in any case I'm gonna create a new user here so I'm gonna click on administration and then I'm gonna go and hit the create user here and then I'm gonna give my name let's say Kabir and last name Khan now the fields depicting stars are for mandatory information and then organization if at all you have created an organization this is something you can always change it later or you can add it on the fly so I'm gonna create an organization here if it allows so So at the moment I'm going to choose this organization but later on at the time of implementation I'm going to come back okay and I will create a new organization and assign this organization to this particular user okay now I'm going to give this as full time employee fine and then I will simply scroll down and optionally you can give all this information if you like but you see this one this is important user login so here I'm gonna give say K Khan and then you give the password confirm that password and then optionally you can give the start date so let's say I'm gonna give the start date as I did before and other information FA user ID so let's say K Khan oh this is the ID this is not the user so leave it okay and that's all you have to do you hit the save button to create this particular user okay now this new user is created and then you've got to assign the roles you see the user has been created that is a message we got it so go to the roles and assign the roles one by one so I'm gonna simply assign the roles as it was assigned to FA admin user so we will kind of create a copy of the user likewise I will prefer to copy the role names rather than the display names because the display names could be something which can be repeated whereas display names oh sorry the role names are something that are unique So just repeat the same exercise. OK. 
okay so I don't know why what you can do is uh, you can search by this maybe there is a typo you've got to search by the display name look I think there is a possible typo over there so hit the add button and then you've got IDM administrators Then last one is IT security manager. Now the role name is FND IT security, which is what it has got to come over here. So something like this FND. hit add all right so as you could see now th all these roles that were assigned to fa admin user have been assigned to the newly created user and if you could see you can simply expand this particular super roles to see the underlying roles in a hierarchy over here so there are a lot of roles which are assigned to the super role application implementation consultant likewise you can expand and explore it further so within this one itself let's say project application administrator you've got smaller roles each of these ones right so I'm gonna leave it to you to explore this likewise you can explore the roles associated with other super roles that we have just assigned now if you're familiar with Oracle A Business Suite, this is something like responsibilities. There is one more layer over there called as responsibilities. And then you've got menus and within menus, you've got functions and within uh, that you basically follow that particular hierarchy over here. Whereas in this one, you've got the roles, which basically cuts down your sort of combination of menus and functions but it's pretty much similar to that concept so once you're done with all this you can simply hit the apply button if you've made any changes but otherwise I guess you're good to go so it sort of saved it already okay and if you want to make any further changes feel free to do that and then the next step is you've got to synchronize the database from what is lying in IDM into Fusion Application Server Database. So there are two databases, one for IDM Server. So presently this user is created in IDM Server. You've got to synchronize it with Fusion Apps Server. So there is a special way to do it, which I'm going to show you very shortly in the next movie. <music>